One thing you talked about was a protein, and if you're if you're cutting out a lot of the meats, uh, beefs, chickens, pork, anything like that, how important is protein, and do you still get enough? I mean, your person exercises a lot, um, very muscular, and you see people with the protein shakes all the time that are working out. Yeah. I mean, do we do we end up getting too much? We have a very serious problem in our country, and the marketers and the the food people, the four food groups, everyone is promoting we need more protein as athletes, as seniors, we don't want to waste away, we need more protein. Uh, it's rather a, a mistaken myth. Uh, the fact is that world-class uh, bodybuilders like uh, uh, Nimai Delgado, happens to have the same last name, uh, he's, he's in the uh, highest class of bodybuilding competition. Uh, and he, he doesn't add proteins from animals in his diet. He doesn't add animal, uh, uh, you know, the, these kind of things because the, the reality is that the human body has this amazing ability to function at a very high level and cycle through digestive enzymes and these enzymes of various types uh, make up about 160 grams of protein a day the body recycles. So even if you don't eat a bite of food, you get that. And then the digestive tract sloughs off, that's 20 grams of protein that's 180 grams of protein. The reality is you only need 20 grams of protein from one cup of beans that will give you all the protein you need for the entire day. Now I'm not advocating dropping down to 20 grams but if you eat throughout the day plant-based whole food uh, nutrition much like Arnold Schwarzenegger now has switched over to plant-based because of his uh, in, incident regarding a heart attack. Franco Colombo died I believe a couple days ago. They say of a heart attack I'm not sure he was out swimming but the reality is that a vast majority of Americans are getting so much protein that it puts them at a higher risk of cancer. Dr. T. Colin Campbell and his China study confirmed that it wasn't fat or cholesterol, which we know is associated with cancer, but the high protein intake also was clearly associated with the increased incidence of cancer. There's things that happen to the cells that mutate, and the body gets confused with all these foreign proteins from animal products. Even if you took in too much vegetable protein, which would be difficult to do, but if you extracted it out and took too much, uh, you're getting too much. You know, the body has to digest that protein. It's an amino acid, and you get too much amino acid, it turns into, uh, that, that is the cell of, of the, the animal protein is called nucleic acid. Nucleic acid breaks into uric acid, and people develop gouty arthritis for example. I had a friend Mike Wolf and he had horrible gout, terrible. He was on medications, he couldn't even hardly walk, he was being pushed around in a wheelchair, he was a young man you know in his 40s or so and he said what can I do and I said let's just switch you over to plant-based, uh, pull out the animal products but I travel, I'm at restaurants all the time. I said I'll go with you, let's go to a Mexican restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, let's go to, you choose it, we'll go. We just ordered side dishes, assembled you know fresh whole foods and and um, within about uh, three months, as I predicted, his uric acid levels came down from very high levels to safe levels. His gout went away. He's never had it return in more than, I think, three or four years. And so I see people overloading protein. Overload of protein is the number one cause of kidney failure. There's more kidney dialysis centers in the country than in any time in history because everyone is enamored thinking they need more and more protein. It's quite the opposite. We need to cut back on our animal protein diet. By doing so, we also reduce our total cholesterol intake, reduce our excess fat intake. We solve so many problems by shifting away. And my favorite book out there by uh, Dr. Garth Davis, MD, that I did a YouTube video reply is called Proteinaholics. Here's a reformed um, plastic surgeon who after he would do lipo on these patients, he would put them on a handout with his staff giving them a protein diet and he realized his patients would get fat again. Mm -hmm. And you know these, these uh, now we know that the lipo doesn't get rid of the fat cells. They, they have a memory. They come back. They're there. They're, you're born genetically with a certain number of fat cells. If you keep eating excess calories or have excess fat, those fat cells grow back in size. And so uh, you, you really have to manage the diet, the exercise and know that protein in excess is not your friend, it's quite toxic. If I were to tell you uh, the list of to avoid and the, the best uh, nutrients, uh, protein is number three worst thing you could ever consume uh, in excess.